follow up, if I may, can I ask for your reaction to the resignation of the Prime Minister's Head of Policy, Manira Mirza, and whether you agree with her that he should apologise for his comments to Sir Keir Starmer about Jimmy Savile? And, and we look, with regard to the news about Manira, the first thing to say is, you know, she was a valued colleague. I very much enjoyed working with her, and I'm sorry to see her leave government on this working with her and, and with regard to the comments in you know being being honest I wouldn't have said it and I'm glad that the Prime Minister clarified what he meant. is because, Mr Speaker, the report does absolutely nothing to substantiate the tissue of nonsense uh, he has just spoken. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Instead, Mr Speaker, this, this leader of the opposition, a former director of public prosecutions, Mr Speaker, he spent, he spent most of his time prosecuting journalists and failing to prosecute Jimmy Savile, as far as I can make out. Um, and we look, with regard to the news about Manira, the first thing to say is, you know, she was a valued colleague. I very much enjoyed working with her, and I'm sorry to see her leave government. I'll miss working with her. And, and with regard to the comments, in you know, being being honest, I wouldn't have said it, and I'm glad that the Prime Minister clarified what he meant. Angela, um, we've heard that a key advisor to Boris Johnson has has gone, has resigned over the comment he made about Jimmy Savile. What's your reaction to that? Well, it really shows that even you know people that have been close to Boris Johnson for a very long time are, are, show, are seeing that Boris Johnson is not fit to be Prime Minister and that there isn't a depth that he wouldn't sink to, to, to make cheap points and he's lied to the public in a very dangerous way. And one of the most significant things about that is the victims here. No regard whatsoever for those victims and the trauma that they've gone through. And, you know, I think it's really telling now that so many people are abandoning Boris Johnson, who have been around him for a very long time, have decided, you know what, even we cannot accept this sort of behaviour. You know, he's crossed so many red lines now that I think there's a, the challenge for our country is do we want someone who lies, who can make dangerous comments like that with total lack of regard for the victims just to try and save their own neck? That is not the British way and it's certainly not the way in which a Prime Minister should conduct themselves and it's clear to me that even the people closest to Boris Johnson are aware of that. I want to be very uh, clear about this because, I, because a lot of people have got uh, very uh, 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 hot under the collar and I, I understand why. I, let, let's be absolutely clear. I'm, I'm talking not about uh, the leader of the opposition's personal um, record when he was, uh, when he was DPP. Uh, and, and, I, and I totally understand that he had nothing to do uh, personally with those decisions. I was making a point about um, the his responsibility for the organization uh, as a whole and I think people can can see that and I just I really do want to clarify that because it is it is important